Hello Libra, this is Debs and this is your reading for April 2024. Libra, it's lovely to be with you. Thank you so much guys for being here. Now, Libra, in meditation, oh, um, I actually saw a couple packing for holiday, super excited. The guy had taken time off work, he'd worked overtime so he could afford the trip. He bought a few new things to go on holiday with. Everything was lined up. His partner had gone to the tanning salon. She'd had a little bit of a cheeky sunbed. She was preparing for this wonderful week in the sunshine. She bought a new bikini. She'd saved up her money. Everything was sorted. They took a taxi to the airport, only to find out that the flight had been cancelled. Not only that, the flight had been cancelled with no hope of it being rescheduled for that day. So they ended up going home and sitting on the sofa thinking, well, what do we do now? Libra, there could be something that is cancelled literally at the last minute. It may be, Libra, that you find your plan suddenly change. Again, it's going to be very short notice. Now, I feel the reason why this reading has come through, the reason why this message needs to go out to someone is that it may give you time to create a contingency plan. What happens if this is cancelled at the last minute? What happens if I'm not able to do this? You need to have a plan B, just in case, Libra, your main plan goes under, okay? Yeah. So guys, let's just get into this and see what comes through. The deck that I'm using is the Sanctus Concordia. Everything you need is down below in the description box, the link to my website. And I'm still offering 30% off 30 minute love readings if you're interested. The link to join the channel if you'd like to do that and all the decks. Okay, Libra. Hmm. Remember, this is not for everyone. But it's coming through because for whoever this is for... It's incredibly important that they know. So it could be something much more serious than a holiday, right? It could be this is you planning on moving to another country and they don't grant you the residency permit. Something like that. It could be you're planning on moving house. You've got everything sorted out and then you go to the bank and they say, oh, I'm so sorry, we've now decided we can't give you a mortgage. And this is you thinking, oh my gosh, what? Half the house is packed up. We were planning on selling it. Ooh, I don't know what to do now. It's that sort of thing. Yeah. All right. Let's see what this is. Thank you, Archangel Michael. This is for my Libras, April. April. Hmm. All right, guys, eight of cups. Libra, this is you planning on walking away from a situation, leaving an area, relocating, moving out of your house, going on holiday. This is you putting plans in place for whatever this is. Crossing that, again, interesting, six of swords. This is you hoping to move to calmer waters. This is you thinking, oh, Oh, that holiday is going to be amazing. All oh, that new property is going to be wonderful. This is you planning on going from A to B. Fascinating. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. Turning your back, both cards of you. Turning your back on a particular cycle or situation and heading in a new direction. Okay, Libra. Oh my goodness, guys. In the past, the lovers, Gemini energy. You made a choice, Libra, to move towards someone that you wanted to be with. You could have left a marriage. You could have ended up making plans to move to this person's location. You made a choice in the past to move forwards with your lover. After that time, Page of Cups, everything was wonderful. Everything was working out. Can't wait to be with you. 
messages of love. In your thoughts, Knight of Pentacles, I know this person wants to commit to me. Planning a wonderful future, looking forward to spending the rest of my life with this person. In the immediate future, yeah, Nine of Wands. This may be you, Libra, realising that things aren't as they seem. This is you looking at the planning that you put into place to do this and feeling very burdened. In your fears, the Seven of Wands, fearing Libra that you're going to be moving into a place of being defensive, fearing that you're going to need to stand your ground about something or you're going to have to hold back and maybe postpone whatever this is. In your person's energy, the King of Cups. Oh gosh, Libra, I'm hearing I love you, but I can't do this. Okay, I love you, but I can't do this. In your hopes, Nine of Pentacles. In the outcome, the Hierophant. Okay, Libra. Very clear. What we have here is you super excited about forging a new path with your lover. You may have made a choice, Libra, to settle down with this person. This might have been a long distance connection. I think your person said to you, move to be with me. I want this as much as you do. I want to commit to you. This could have been a plan that you'd organised for quite a long time. You may have looked at jobs in this person's area. You may have arranged for your house to be rented out, or you may even have put your property on the market. This was a massive life change. What you're going to be realising, Libra, was that, shockingly, your person wasn't totally honest with you. You may have thought you guys were on the same page, but what you may be realising is this guy wants to be with you. Oh, yes, he loves you. Oh, absolutely. The issue is he's still married. And it's something he may have hidden from you for quite a long time. This is someone who may have potentially lived apart from their partner. This is somebody who I think is already separated from their partner. So they may live on their own. They may not wear a wedding ring. They may class themselves as single. But Libra, if this is you planning on making this massive move, thinking, wow, I'm pretty sure that we're going to end up married, you may be sorely disappointed. Because what you're going to realise is this person can't marry you because they're already married. And they may not have any future plans to divorce. So yes, you know, you guys could live together, you guys could have a wonderful life, but Libra, I get the feeling that you may have wanted this to move forward into marriage. You may even have mentioned to this person, you know, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life together. We're going to be creating a lovely home together. You had no idea that secretly this person wasn't actually legally detached from somebody else. And Libra, this is you maybe pulling yourself up short, thinking to yourself, OK, well, if we're just talking about a living together situation, if this person is still legally married to somebody else, I don't think I want this anymore. I don't know if I want this anymore. Right? Libra. Clarification for you. Yeah. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Libra, what you're going to realise is this masculine may not have wanted to have ended a long-term situation for financial reasons. It could be he's not in communication with his wife. It could be they even live in different countries. But he is still legally married. Ten of Wands. What you're about to find out, Libra, 
is going to cause you to change your plans. And you could have spent the last few months rearranging your life in order to be with this person. Clarification for your person, Libra. The Emperor. Wow, Libra, the Emperor. And the Justice card, a legal contract. Huh, so, guys, it may be that you two need to have a serious sit-down conversation. I mean, I don't know how this could have got this far without you knowing the truth. It could even be, Libra, that if this person said to you, I am married, but I'm separated and not going back to my wife. She lives in another country, blah, 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 right? This is you believing him and this is him changing his mind. I do love you, but I'm going to stay married. It may even be, Libra, that you feel this person has been a bit strategic. If this person knew that you would be taking months to rearrange your life to be with them, they may have decided to tell you the difficult truth at the last minute, feeling that there is no way you change your plans. Libra's already handed in their notice at their job. Libra's already put their house on the market. There's no way Libra's going to say, OK, no. Be very careful. This could be the loveliest man in the world, the King of Cups, but he is married. And this may be him saying to you, ah, I love you, but uh, yeah, we're not going to get married, Libra. And this is you sort of trying to take it in. Underneath the deck, guys, we have the Ace of Wands. This could have started as just a fleeting, passionate connection, which developed. Eight of Pentacles, you may even have met this man at work. You put a lot of time, energy and effort, Libra, into with the world, closing out the cycle you were in to make it work with this guy. Now, it could be complicated. You could have been transferred to another office and met this person and then had to go back. Could have been contract work, something like that. Could have been a business trip. Or you simply met this guy, things developed... And you may have thought, OK, what well, he's living on his own. OK, there's no wedding ring. And, and you may have thought, all right, he's single. Well, mm, nine of swords, Libra. You may find out the truth. And it's going to cause you to pull back and do some really serious thinking about your next steps forward. Libra, if you feel that this might be your story, this is a warning, OK, if you're already in the situation, you need to have a very serious sit down chat with your person ASAP to make sure, Libra, you're on the same page. This is you super excited about this to the point where you may not have been looking at the bigger picture, right? So let's get into this, Libra, and see what comes through. Archangel Michael, what is the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords for my Libras? Thank you, Michael. Queen of Swords. Okay, straight out. So I feel I'm connecting with a feminine. Seven of Pentacles. This is you having asked questions about this man's past. And with the Four of Swords, doing a lot of thinking about moving in this new direction with this guy. Eight of Wands, messages of passion. He seemed fully on board. The Sun. And Libra, as far as you were concerned, you were heading off into a beautiful new life potentially moving to another country to be with this guy. The sun can be global travel, feeling very excited about what the future is going to bring. In the past, Libra, you met this guy. You could have met a water sign, an Aries or a Gemini. 
you two moved into a lover situation. You may not have known that you were his lover, but you were. Two of Cups. You two fell in love. And with the Queen of Pentacles, he said that he wanted to commit to you. And you started planning your new future, your future together, feeling as if this was meant to be, feeling as if the wheel was moving in your favour. Wow, it's amazing I've met this guy. Oh my goodness, I feel as if this is the person for me. And with a page of cups, you may even have started talking about having a family. Or very simply, you said, I love you, Libra. I want to be with you. This is it. The magician. Yeah. This is you making plans to manifest this beautiful new relationship with this guy. The empress. Planning on becoming his wife. Manifesting the empress. So this is definitely a guy who lived in another country. Again, you guys could have met on holiday. You could have met if one of you was transferred for a work placement, contract work, whatever this is. You never knew that he was still legally married. And this is you planning your life with him. So what this tells me is... You had absolutely no idea when you met him that he wasn't single because this is you manifesting becoming his wife. So he must have insinuated to you, Libra, that he wanted to marry, that he was single. And you just went with it. What you're thinking about is Nine of Pentacles. He's going to commit. Beautiful. Nine of Cups. I'm super happy. I'm super happy. This is amazing. Ace of Swords. I'm leaving my old life behind. I'm hop, skipping and jumping on this plane, making sure that I can sell my house on time, making sure that I've got interviews or a job lined up in this person's country. I mean, this is a huge move. This is a huge move. The Strength card. It took a lot of courage for you, Libra, to decide to do this. Wow. But with the Page of Wands, he was on board. Messages of passion. Can't wait to see you. Everything was planned out. Now this, Libra, is the time where you're going to find out the truth somehow. Because you're sat in the Nine of Wands and he is sat in the King of Cups. Libra, he knows he loves you. He loves you deeply. But he's been hiding the fact, I think, that he's still legally married. And this is him, I believe, either feeling so weighed down by guilt that he didn't tell you, that this is him telling you at the last minute. Or this is him springing this on you, literally, as you're about to get on a plane. Just so that you know, I can't believe we didn't discuss this before, but uh, yeah, I just need to... Um, tell you that I'm still legally married but you know we are going to be living together and this is you standing in the airport queue with your flight tickets thinking I can't believe he's telling me now I can't believe he's telling me now you may feel angry Libra you may be upset you may feel he was being strategic but this is going to be a shock because Libra at this point your life is 90% in that other country. You possibly applied for a work permit. You possibly applied for a three-month tourist visa, right? Until you get yourself settled. Thinking in the future, well, it's going to be absolutely fine because I'm going to be living with this guy and then we're going to get married. Well, um, hmm. it may not happen the way you hope for, Libra. Goodness me, guys. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Nine of Wands and the King of Cups for my lovely Libras? Thank you, Michael. June. Okay. June. Six of June. 
6th of June, pointing forward. Okay, from the 6th of June. So Libra, you may put plans in place to actually do a big move in June. Early June. It might be that for the last few months, you've been organising things sort of, you know, behind the scenes in order to shift your life to be with this guy. Let's have a look at this guy's energy. Hmm. Libra, he's going to start off by saying, I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to celebrate with you. This is our brand new life. I can't wait to build a beautiful home with you, you know? Three of Wands. Mm. I've waited for this time. I've thought about us getting together, finally living under the same roof. Redecorating my home waiting for my ships to come in, I'll meet you at the airport, all this type of thing. The chariot, Cancerian energy. Let me know what flight you're going to come in on so I can meet you. I'm going to turn up and give you the biggest kiss. I'll take us out for a fantastic dinner in the evening. Ace of Cups, I so want to be with you. I love you, Libra. I love you. Seven of Cups, there's going to be so many wonderful things we're going to do together when we finally live together. Um, One thing, Libra, that I possibly should have mentioned before. I've been deliberating as to whether or not I should mention it. Mm, I didn't know when the right time was. I've been in my head. Uh, Page of Swords. Yeah, sadly, I am still legally connected to somebody else, but they live in another country. Uh, I never see this person. I, I just give them money every month. You know, we don't even really talk. And this is you sitting there in shock. What's your reaction, Libra? Yeah, tower. Oh my goodness. Why didn't you tell me this before? I thought you were single. You never gave me any indication that you were still married or you'd even gotten married. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is so clear, Libra. Tower, Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess. Libra, this is you realising that this person kept the secret for the longest time. They hid it from you. Eight of Swords. At this point, Libra, you will not know what to say. And you will literally be speechless. This is you thinking of the weeks and the months you spent rearranging your life because you thought you were going to run off into the sunset with this person and get married. No. And you won't know what to do at this point, Libra, because they may have been strategic, thinking if they tell you at the last minute, you're not going to change your plans. You would have invested too much into this. You would already have put your house on the market. You would already have left your job. They may have been strategic in this, and this is you angry. What are you going to say to them? Okay, um, Six of Pentacles. Are you going to get divorced? This is dividing the assets. You're sat in fear, Libra. This is you thinking, I can't believe this person hid the fact that they were married. What is this person's reaction? Uh, okay, Knight of Cups. Well, Libra, it's not that important, is it, really? Because I love you. Isn't isn't that what's really important? I love you, Libra. I don't want to be with anyone else. I never speak to my wife. Devil. They're obsessed with this going as planned, Libra. They're obsessed that this works out. What is the devil? 
Yeah, they're going to tell you that they were in a very toxic marriage. Now, this could be a Capricorn or potentially their karmic partners, a Capricorn. Five of Swords. They may say, my partner, my wife, sabotaged the relationship. It could be this person says, I had to get out of my relationship because my partner was unstable. What are you going to say, Libra? Ten of Swords. I mean, sadly, Libra, what you're saying to this person is, uh, you betrayed me. You should have told me this a long time ago. How could you hide something like this? What are you going to say? Six of Cups. I don't know if I want to do this now. I mean, what if you change your mind about us living together and you say you want to patch up things with your wife? You want to go back to your wife? Libra, you're angry. You're angry. Knight of Swords. I mean, this would have been a pretty big deal if you'd just been dating this person for six months and then they told you they were married. But Libra, this is you having organised to move your life to this person's country. It's what I feel to live with them, dreaming of getting married, dreaming of going on a honeymoon, dreaming of being Mr. and Mrs. Only to find out at the very last minute as you're boarding the plane that this person is married and has no intention of divorcing. Now, Libra, it could be for very complicated reasons. It could be that divorce is disapproved of in their religion. It could be that there are children involved. I don't know. But Libra, this is a challenge because you are now in a very difficult situation. For some of you, you're going to be ringing the estate agent. For God's sake, take my house off the market. For others of you, you're going to be frantically getting hold of your boss. I'm sorry, but I want my old job back. You're going to be feeling emotionally all over the place, Libra. Page of Pentacles. It could be, Libra, this is to do with a child. But what I see this is, is you turning your back and saying to this person, I need some time to think about this. You're turning your back. I mean, this is you deciding not to get on the plane. This is you deciding that you need a few weeks to rethink all this. What is the energy between these two at this point? Yeah. Libra, it may well be that this person is weighed down by guilt. I mean, it could be that they went along with the whole thing, super excited. And then at the last minute, they might have thought to themselves, I can't do this. I've got to tell Libra the truth because they're moving their whole life to be with me. It could be that they were strategic. They knew exactly what they were doing in hiding their true situation. And again, this is guilt. But with a five of cups, Libra, you're not interested anymore. It's as if that wonderful sense of excitement and overwhelming happiness about starting a new life with this person is sort of just switched off. And this may be you standing in the airport feeling a bit numb. Oh my God, uh, I don't want to get on the plane. I've got to get my suitcases out of the hold. I don't want to get on the plane. What, what am I doing? Mm. This may also have been someone, Libra, that you dated for several months at long distance. Several months. So Libra, let's have a look at the Nine of Pentacles. You are hoping once this information sunk in to pull yourself back up and to sit in the Nine of Pentacles and to concentrate on your own financial stability. So what this tells me, Libra, is you are not going to be moving forward with this emperor. You're going to cancel everything. You're going to cancel everything. Yeah, because with the Four of Cups, Libra, you don't want this anymore. You don't want this anymore. So let's have a look at the Hierophant. Yeah. 
Three of Pentacles, Libra. I think this is you suddenly coming to the realisation that all this was, was a third party situation. This guy was hoping to hide from you, maybe ongoing, that he was legally married to another woman who might have lived in another country. He might have thought you'd never know. If you didn't press him to get married, Libra, he could have gotten away with this for the next 20, 30 years. Who knows? These things happen. Sometimes people do get away with it. But this is you pulling back and seeing the reality. You're seeing the reality. Death card. You could have got wrapped up with the Scorpio. King of Cups, Emperor, Death card. We've also got Cancerian energy here in Pisces. I think this is you changing everything around. Deciding that you don't want this. Yeah, Four of Wands is living together. You're saying, no, Death card, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to live with you. If there's no hope of us ever getting married, if you hid from me that you were in a legal contract with another woman, no, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. The Hermit. You're pulling back and you're doing a lot of thinking about what you're going to do next. As well as obviously spending time unravelling what you'd already put in place, plans that you put in place to move to be with this person. They could be a Virgo. Are you going to hear anything from this person, Libra? Two of Swords. Wow. Libra, you're either just going to block them because this is you sat in disbelief and a sense of this isn't really happening to me. Or if you try to reach out to this person to say, look, we really need to talk. I mean, are you going to get divorced? Uh, what is going to happen here? They may not even respond. They may not even respond. So Libra, what are you going to do? You're going to hold back. You're going to think very carefully about your finances. OK, well, I've got to try and get another job or I've got to try and get my old job back. I need to stay in my property or I need to find somewhere to rent. Goodness me, Libra. The hangman. You could have been dealing with the Pisces. You're holding back. It may well be, Libra, that if you look back, there are a few things that didn't make sense. But maybe you brush them under the carpet. You told yourself it's fine. Don't worry. Judgment. This is you, Libra, holding on to the decision to detach. Because even if this guy turns around to you and says, actually, I found a way that I can divorce or I've decided to divorce... Because he hid this from you and because you now don't trust him, I don't think you'd say yes. It's the principle of the thing, right? It doesn't matter if you turn up on my doorstep with a divorce papers and an engagement ring. No, I don't trust you because you hid this from me. You're making the judgment call to just detach. That's it. That's it. Because with the Seven of Swords, um, he was deceptive. What are you going to do, Libra? Okay. King of Wands. <laughs> well, in the future, you may be meeting an Aries, Leo or Sag. Six of Wands. And have victory and success with somebody else. Libra, this is also potentially you getting out there again, meeting new people and concentrating on your career. And moving yourself back into a temperate place. Or Libra, this is you having victory and success in a new relationship with a Sagittarian masculine. Hmm. And maybe, Libra, you weren't supposed to be with this emperor after all. Ten of Cups. This is you looking back a year from now 
and finding yourself in a completely different situation than you thought you would be in. I thought I'd be living in that country with that emperor talking about getting married. Now I'm in a relationship with a king of wands doing well in my work and we're planning a wedding for a couple of years time, right? And I'm getting married to him. I mean, <laughs> it's that sort of energy Libra. So guys, I mean, I see happiness in your future. I do. But it is not going to be with this emperor. The moral of the story is, Libra, do your homework, do your research online, all of that sort of thing. Yes, it may seem a little bit clinical if you're in love, but these days, some people aren't who they say they are, Libra. Mm. All right. I'm leaving the reading there. Let me know if it's your story. Take care of you, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Libra.